Oh man, we are live. Let's see if we turn the camera around. Woo! Maybe we should turn that camera back that way. <laughs> oh man, yo, Army, what's good? What's good, Army? Army, y'all already know what to do. Smash that like button soon as y'all enter into the vote. Smash that like button. Man, those two episodes were good. Those two episodes were good, man. Hey, I was downstairs on the couch like, bro, I don't even know if I want to get back up, man. Like, for real, for real, man. Like, just watching the GOAT, bro. <laughs> See my boy Snipe. Snipe, can you finally admit, bro? I got Snipe in the building. I got my boy Chaotic in the building. Snipe, bro. Admit it, man. Mike is the goat. Oh my god, dude is the goat, man. For real, for real. Y'all already know what to do, man. As soon as y'all enter into the vault, make sure y'all smash that like button. Smash that like button, man. Do, bro. Like, I damn near want to do my Jordan 1 collection video all over again, man. All over again, man. Like. Uh, I, I was just at all like honestly, man. Honestly, those were the the best two episodes to me thus far. Thus far, those were the best two episodes. Like, what did y'all think about it? Shout out to Kendro uh, for twenty for the two dollar donation. Um, Javon Gordon he say, man, trim up, bro. Ain't nobody worried about no haircuts right now, man. We still quarantine, bro. I ain't going nowhere. Uh, Gangsta Ghost, shout out to Gangsta Ghost for the two dollar donation. Uh, he said Jordan Fowl restocked on uh, Full Locker website. I believe it did, man. I know Finish Line has some crazy stuff going on as well. Um, but like, man, did y'all check, bro? Go and check out. And I still may do a separate video on this tomorrow. I think I am. Prices on the Air Jordan was Chicago's. Last time I checked, shout out to um, shout out to uh Jeffrey uh for the ten dollar donation. What's good, break? I think the overblown. I think they overblown it. Atlantic City. Yeah, bro. I mean, look. Once you want to spotlight, once you are great at what you do, man, they gonna always find a way to tear you down, bro. I I live through it. I'm not even going to lie, so, like, no, I'm not on Michael Jordan's level. I would never I would never put myself on that pedestal, man. But being good or being great at something, man, people are going to try to tear you down, man. It just comes with the territory. It comes with the territory, man. Um, we got 700 people in here. We got only 193 uh, thumbs up. Y'all, smash that like button. We got almost 800 people in here with only 200 likes. Y'all already know, man. Smash that like button for your boy. Shout out to... uh. Marucio, uh, for the two dollar donation, seeing Kobe man still hurts. Yeah, man. I mean, and it started off with Kobe man, like, and the the and I, honestly, I just got chills just you know even just thinking about that man. Like, Kobe said it himself. He like I wouldn't have five rings if it wasn't for Jordan. So for him to be. To me, Kobe is the, the second greatest NBA player of all time. So for him to say if it wasn't for Mike, he wouldn't have five rings, that right there alone, bro, that right there alone, he, he, it's like, I don't want to say Kobe gets it or he got it, but it's just like he paying respect for where he got his game from. And I'm not saying LeBron got his game from Jordan, but it's just like, LeBron, bro, you know Mike the GOAT, bro. Just admit it. And if you have admitted it, cool, but that was just a phenomenal episode, man. Phenomenal episode. Um, Shout out to Lamarck Sanders for the $10 donation. What's good, break? I'm looking at all Jay saying to be going up $1,500. It's the OG colorways. It's the OG colorways. Go mob to all my bros in the chat. OG colorways. I stated this. <laughs> I stated this after the first episode. I said OG colorways and Air Jordans will go up after people watch this documentary. I mean, look at Jordan One Chicago's. It, I was um, like, it was like a jaw dropping scenario, bro. Like that shoe was not over a thousand dollars in a size eleven. That size eleven was like eleven hundred. I'm like, when did this happen, bro? Shout out to everybody in the chat. Make sure y'all smash that like button as y'all are entering. We need at least 800 likes before we get alpha here, bro. We got over 828 people in the building rocking it out, man. 
Okay, so people saying LeBron did admit it. Okay, okay, that's cool, man. I give him, I give him his respect, bro. But man, like <laughs> the doctor, it was just dope. I see a couple people up in here that hasn't seen it, so they say don't, um, don't spoil it. So I'm gonna try not to spoil it. Um, Jeff, shout out to Jeff for the five dollar donation. I ain't gonna lie, seeing MJ and the Chicago ones made me want a pair. Yes, bro, it did. But 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 it was so funny with that because it was just like Mike was like, man, look, through halfway through it, he like my feet was bleeding, and like by the end of it, he like his feet was soaked in blood. And it showed like, bro, them mics are not the most comfortable shoes. And we just wear for the most part, not everybody, because I don't want to hear those. Uh, I wear my mics, I'll hoop in mine. I'll hoop in my mics, you know what I'm saying? I bet mine are well to hoop in. I'm not going that route, but we know as people who just rock Jordan just to wear them, like no hooping, we just wearing them for style, them joints are not the most comfortable Jordans at all, you know what I'm saying? And th and look, I got I see somebody okay, seeing somebody talk about Concords in the chat, that make me want like like <laughs> I'm stuttering because I'm kind of getting nervous. Shout out to the whole uh 929 people we got in the chat. Y'all smash that like button as y'all enter the vault. We got almost a thousand people. We ain't even got 400 thumbs up yet. So smash that like button. Um I'm nervous for shoes that I want to double up as far as OGs. You know what I'm saying? Concourse is going... Bro, once they show the episode with Mike wearing a concourse and when he came back out of retirement, concourse are going to skyrocket. Y'all hearing it first. And y'all hearing it first because, bro, look, I love every... I ain't even going to go there. But <laughs> the people been stealing my content, bro. You know what I'm saying, man? The people been stealing my content. But y'all hearing it here first. Concourse is going to go up. In price, man. Concourse is gonna go up in price after they show that episode. After they show the episode where um when Mike comes back out of retirement and they actually show him with them concourse on, them suckers are gonna go up in price. My pops want a size 12. I just wanna double up. You know what I'm saying? I just want to double up in them. I hate I even sold my my double up. The Olympic Sevens, like y'all already know, sevens my favorite from the jump. Sevens are my favorite from the jump. So when seeing him rocking the Olympic Sevens and with the, you know, iconic photo with Magic Johnson, I'm just like, bro, I'm just glad I got my Olympic Sevens. They actually need to retro them joints again. All right? So the people who are looking for the like button, it's a thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up. We got over 1,000 people up in here. Let's at least get to 500 likes. Smash that thumbs up. And um, so, so, um... I did something, man. I had the 2012 Olympic Sevens. Wind up selling those in college. Then I went. Um, then I went and got the 04 pair. And the 04 pair, like honestly, like the 04 pair wasn't wearable. So I did wind up grabbing these up here. I think I got these sometime last year. The for the love. Oh, jeez, bro. For the love of the game, sevens. F fire. F fire. For the love of the game, sevens, man. Like, when it comes to OG Jordan sevens, you know, I got to go with my Bordeaux. Then I got to go with, you know what I'm saying, my dark charcoal or the Raptors, whatever you want to say. But these joints, fire, man. And you can even say these, you know, these came out 10 years ago. And you can see, like... You, these came out 2010, but like the, the well, shit, that is 10 years ago. But you can see, like, you know, the soul is going to start separating on these soon, too, man. Um, shout out to Kevin Smith. He said, When I saw Chicago once, I want the sneakers app just in case. Bro, if there was a shock drop Chicago once, that right there, I honestly say, like, a shock drop on the Chicago ones is, is like the equivalent of like shock dropping like a Nike Easy at this point. Everybody wants it. Everybody won. They say breasts are now 800. And they was, yes, breasts was last week when I did my Jordan 1 collection. Bread ones, my size was like 650. Crazy. Again, shout out to um, Marusio for the $2 donation. Cop the pair of Concourse from GOAT two days ago. Will go up. Yeah, I think I might go ahead and grab that. Um, Jorge said. Uh, for the two dollar donation, said break. When will Sheik notify one is on the raffle? I'm not 100 percent sure, bro, because I've I've never won. 
<laughs> I never won, bro. Shout out to Ed, bro. We got 1,200 people in here. Smash the thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up. Let's get this live to at least 1,000. Let's get this joint to at least 1,000 thumbs up. We got 530. We can get 1,000 easily because we got over 1,000 people in here. Just take your time. Smash that like button for your boy. Please, 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 please. Um... But yeah, uh, y'all hearing it here first. <laughs> y'all hearing it here first. I'm doing a video just verifying that OG colorways are going up after the last dance. Y'all hearing it here first. Hearing it here first, okay? Um, Because I didn't, I saw it. And sometimes, you know, when you know something, you just speaking, you kind of just speaking like nonchalant. But I didn't expect it to be an instant. That was an instant go up. Instant go up. Um, shout out to Steezo. He said, finally copped the year to Rapid 7s today, bro. Good pickup. Good pickup, bro. Actually, I'm so thirsty to make this video, I might actually film it tonight. <laughs> film it tonight so I can have it up by at least like 12 o'clock tomorrow. Is anybody back working or is everybody still on quarantine? Y'all smash that thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up for your boy, man. Let's get to join to at least 1,000. Smash the thumbs up for your boy. Um... Is anybody going back to work? Is everybody still on quarantine? Like, what's what's going on? Because I'm just trying, you know, some people say they uh working from home, still working, still on quarantine. Because I just want to make sure that, um you know, I'm putting up content around the time that people can actually watch it. You know, so I definitely want to make it, uh, make sure y'all all good. Um, yeah, man. Bro, to the tonight episode just had me pumped, man. And it's just like Jordan dealing with adversity. My man just went silent and just killed the game after that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, but then he got tired of it. Like sometimes, like, honestly, like when I was going through my little spills on 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 uh YouTube, bro, it was just like, man, bro, it was just like you just kind of wanted to just walk away from it, but you knew that wasn't the best way of going out. You know what I'm saying? So when he was going through his adversities, he just worked through it, man. And and look, the dude wind up winning another championship, took two years off, came back and won three more, man. So, yes. I see a lot of people in here talking about the 85 is going to go up. Yes, I told y'all that. I said that was one of the shoes I mentioned that y'all should grab while on quarantine while they going for the low. But just imagine, bro, can you imagine this? Can you imagine? Let's just, let's just, first off, smash the like button right quick. Hit the like button. We got almost 700 uh, thumbs up. So smash the thumbs up button for your boy. But can you imagine if Jordan Brand was to bring back OG colorways just like this? With the tag, you know what I'm saying? With the height. Hell, I would even take the leather, bro. Like, I don't, I was never, I was never, ever a big fan of this type of leather. I was never a big fan of like this, you know what I'm saying, this nice, soft, tumble leather. I was never a fan of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, if we don't get that on retro ones, I'm straight. But this, bro, just imagine Chicago ones like this, or Royal ones, or breads, or shadows, just like this. Just like this. <sighs> man, Jordan Brand, look, y'all kind of y'all kind of hold us over even with the new beginners pack. Like, yeah, it's a nice colorway, but it ain't the Chicago's, man. And you know what? It's in a sense, it's kind not not similar because this shoe don't have any black in it. But I mean, Jordan Brand, y'all wasn't too too far off. You get what I'm saying? Y'all wasn't too, too far off. It just need more black in it. Wing logo, same colorway. You know what I'm saying? Wing logo, same colorway. This just don't have black. All this, honestly, all this needs is a black swoosh. Get us join a black swoosh. Put the black right up here. Blacking out the sock liner. It just needs the black on it. You know what I'm saying? And we got a pair of Chicago's right there. Right there, man. So, again, like, I was never big on all that tumble leather and, you know, all that good jazz. Just give me something that was close to 1984, 85. And I'm, and I'm satisfied with that. I'm satisfied with that, y'all. Continue to hit that like button as you come in here. <clears throat> Continue to hit that like button. Again, y'all, I was going to do the retro threes and the retro fours today. I might actually... 
<sighs> I don't know, y'all. I'm kind of tired. I might actually say that for, for you guys for another day. Maybe sometime during the week. I'll go ahead and do that, man. Look, we still on quarantine, man. We got time. Time is of the essence. And we got a lot of it. We definitely got a lot of it, man. Um, I mean, what else is new, y'all? We got 1,200 people rocking up in the chat. We got 742 thumbs up. Y'all smash that thumbs up for your boy, man. Smash that thumbs up for me, man. Let's get this joint to at least 1,000 thumbs up. Before I'm not leaving until we get 1,000. I'm letting y'all know that now. We need 244 more thumbs up before we get a thousand. Um, Gangsta Go, shout out to you, bro, for the two dollar donation. J23 isn't notifying properly. Break. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm my own J23. You know what I'm saying? Like most of the time, when I get shot drop information, it's way before J23 even knows about it. So, I mean, J23 is good for like restocks and things of that nature. When, but when it comes to shock drop, J23 let people know like two to three minutes beforehand. Shout out to Mr. Wonder Bread for the $2 donation. Uh, 2018 Concord 11s for $350 or DMP Magic 7s for $210. Concords, bro. Concords. Um, shout out to everybody who just came up in the chat. Pause. Uh, make sure y'all smash that like button. We need 194 more thumbs up before we get to that thousand shout out to my boy sl for the five dollar donation <laughs> say it don't spray it break hey man look when i'm when i'm uh what's the word passionate about some spit come out my mouth pause um uh price went up on what man where you been at deontay price went up on them jordan one chicago's like crazy <laughs> crazy man Crazy, and the, and the thing is, like, we haven't seen an OG Chicago uh, one since 2015, so that's been five years, and normally Jordan brand don't take that long to retro an OG colorway in the Air Jordan 1, because when you think about it, the Royals came, Royals came out uh, 2013, then we seen them again 2017, so that was only four years, uh, um, Breads came out 2013, then we seen them in 2016, so that was only two years. You know what I'm saying? How much the homes don't count? You know what I'm saying? Because it was a half and half joint. Now, uh, uh, like they should call it like, I don't know, bro. I think Nike, Nike or Jordan brand should just come up with like, um, um, the six ring pack. You know what I'm saying? A six, like if I could pitch something to Jordan brand, I will pitch the six ring pack. Smash the like button. We only need 154 to get that thousand thumbs up. We still got over 1,100 people in here. Smash that thumbs up, y'all. Um, I think that Jordan brand should drop. And, it's, and it may be not necessarily you can call it a pack because the pack really only consists of two shoes, but like a collection. A collection of all the shoes Jordan won winning the championship. Okay? Shout out to Brandon for the two dollar donation. What's popping? Break. What's good with it, bro? So I know he. They will have to do the infrared sixes. They will have to do like the dark, um, the dark, um, the black true red sevens or the raptor sevens. They had to do the playoff eights. They had to do the bread elevens. Um, they had to do the flu games, and then they will have to do uh, the last shots. Granted, I mean, we've all seen these shoes. We've all seen them before. Nine out of ten, we have them in our collections already. But I just think that would be something dope for Jordan Brand. They say that pack would be like 10K. I wouldn't say 10K. I would say keep the, you know, Concours. I mean, uh, uh, Bread 11s or Playoff 11s would be like... 300 or 250 but i just feel like it has to be in its original form as close to possible as the original form that we had it in you know what i'm saying like i'm talking about i need the leather to be the same like i need jordan brand to go back to 19 to, to 91 92 93 96 97 98 grab them ogs Put the OG material that was on the OGs on my shoe and make me all personal size 11s like that. That's that's what I would need. Shout out to my boy uh, Devon Wilder uh, for the $2 donation. Go mob, frat. Keep pushing. Go mob, bro. Appreciate you uh, stopping in here, man. Uh, What else, y'all? We only need 97 more thumbs up to get to that 1,000. Smash that thumbs up, man. So how much y'all think will a pack like that actually go for? I see somebody said 2K. Prices 0279 say that's like a $2,000 pack. I don't even see that being a $2,000. Well, retail. So if we got six shoes, let's just say six shoes and they all, 
Yeah, yeah, that is about a two thousand dollar pack. Cause I would just say two fifty a pop. You know what I'm saying? I would say like two fifty a pop. Uh, do 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 Boom. I would say be about three three thousand. I would say like three thousand. But who would actually? In my back, in my back, it was saying I was losing connection. We good? We good? We good? We good? Okay, cool. I don't know what I'm saying. Something like it was reconnecting. It was reconnecting. But um, how much, they say how much the home's going up. I, I, I don't know. I, I really can't see that shoe going up, man, because a lot of people called it a clown shoe. I mean, yes, it is the best of both worlds. That shoe is the best of both worlds. But it, it's not like I feel like I feel like people will want the Chicago's maybe more than the Breads. Like I'm itching for the Chicago. I feel like the, the world is OK. How about we do this, Army? Shout out to Mr. Jenkins for the $5 donation. Got to give thanks. Wouldn't have copped the DMPs or the fire rest if it wasn't for the release last. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Ligma Ball. <laughs> Ligma Balls. <laughs> That's a funny, bro. Y'all funny with these names. Said my birthday tomorrow, bro. Happy birthday, Ligma Balls. Um, so I'm going to go through 1 through 14 as far as a shoe that... I, if I could only keep one, this is the one I would keep. As far as Jordan 1s, I'm just going to keep Chicago's. As far as the Jordan 2s, I'm going to pick OGs. I don't know if I would keep the white, just the white and red ones, or if I would keep the um, white, black, and red ones. Um, you know, Mike really didn't, because Mike broke his ankle in 2s, the 2s really didn't get that spotlight. You know what I'm saying? But I would have to say... I will probably go with the white, black, and red ones. Those are joints that I will keep. Shout out to Elijah Jones for the fat odd donation. Should I keep my LA to Chicago's, the original color, or strip the paint? Honestly, bro, if you're one of those I wear my shoes type people that everybody love, I would say just wear them until the paint come off And other than um, removing the paint. If you're just going to remove the paint, I say you better just get in the OGs, bro. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to just keep it 100 with you. Um, when it comes to Chicago uh, threes, with my black cements, I know I, I know I got to double up on black cement threes. My favorite threes of all time. I would double up on the black cement threes. I mean, excuse me. I will only keep black cement threes as far as fours go. Um, honestly, I probably this one is tough because it's either between bread fours or fire red fours. But I probably will, I probably will go with the bread fours. Uh, fives. If I have to keep, and of course, y'all know I'm doing all OG colorways. Fives, I will pick these. The OG uh, black tongues, I will pick these. Sixes, I will go with um, black infrareds. Sevens, I will definitely have to go all day, every day. Bordeaux for sevens. Eights, I would pick where are um, here they are. I will pick playoff eights, but I will want my playoff eights. Um, oh my god, you wore them. Um, <laughs> I will pick my playoff eights, but it has to be OG style with the uh, red pull tag. So for my eights, nines, I'm going with um, Chicago nines. Tens, I'm going Chicago tens all day. I got the my Chicago. I don't have the original Chicago tens. I got the, what they call them, double nickels with the Stitch 45 on the side. I definitely have to go with those. Um, as far as 11s, I'm going with the playoffs or the breads. 12s, I'm going to go. 12s is kind of tough because I would either go with, I would either go with the play, uh, playoff 12s or I probably would go with the uh, cherries, but 9 out of 10. Playoff 12s. 13s. Um, 13s is probably another tough one, but I would have to go with the playoff. Got to go with the playoff 13s. And last but not least for 14s, granted Mike didn't wear these, okay? Granted Mike did not wear these, I would have to go with, where are they? First off, I'm looking for my black toes. I don't see my black toe 14s. Here they are. I'll have to go with the black toes. Those will be my OGs that I would keep. If I could only pick one, 
If I could only keep one, those are the ones I will go with. Y'all, smash that like button. We only need 17. We need 17 more thumbs ups to get that thousand thumbs up for this live. <coughs> so make sure y'all smash that thumbs up for your boy. Um, what's his name? Uh, Miguel said, where to see the documentary? It's on ESPN, bro. ESPN, ESPN. Um, what else y'all got for your boy? What else y'all got for me, man? Hold on one second. One second, one second. Um... Let's see. What y'all got for me, man? What y'all want to talk about? What y'all want to... Those Jordan 1.5s? <laughs> them suckers went up in price, too. I remember when the 1.5s was in an outlet. Now the 1.5s is like three, four $400, man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, Do we hit the... Okay, shout out to the Army, man. We got that thousand thumbs up, man. I appreciate y'all for that. Appreciate y'all. It's on Netflix too. I didn't know that. I didn't know the documentary was on um, Netflix. We need a release. Uh, we need a release on the Chicago's, bro. Yeah, man. Everybody wanted. I honestly think we might get it next year. I think we might get it next year. And the only reason why I think we might get it next year is because, <sighs> believe it or not, I honestly think that Nike actually listens to us. You know what I'm saying? Believe it or not. Granted, we ain't got the taxis or we ain't got the. The Cherry 12s, but just imagine if we got the Chicago ones next year, the Cherry 12s next year. Chat, which one would y'all prefer? Would y'all prefer Cherry 12s or would y'all want the taxis, though? I want the Cherry 12s over the taxis because we didn't have the taxis twice. We didn't have the taxis twice. Taxis in a DMP pack. Excuse me. Taxis in a countdown pack. The um, Yeah, countdown pack, we got the taxis. And taxis got their own single release. Uh, cherries, on the other hand, we only got them in the 90s and we got them in 2009. So, cherries are way overdue for a retro. Shout out to Cordell for the two dollar donation. Satin bread ones or fragments? That's a good one, man. Um, that one, um, I would say, I would say, uh, uh, satins. Similar because it's less pairs of satins that were made. That's number one. And two, fragments, man. It's so tough to get a legit pair of fragments. I've had three pair of fragments. And I sold I sold two. I, I've, man, believe me, bro. When I had my collection, like in college days, I ran through some trouble, man, as far as car problems and stuff. So I had to sell. But when I got that last pair, man, it's just like once you, when it comes to shoes like that that are highly fake, once you find that legit pair, man, you got to keep it. You got to keep it. So satin breads, because there's less pairs, and then you got a better chance of getting a legit pair than the fragment ones. Um, shout out to Feezy for the $2 donation. What about flu games? Um, I'm straight on those. I mean, we got them a couple times, but them cherries need to drop, bro. Cherries need to drop ASAP. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Wonder Bread. For the two dollar donation, bro, what's up with them Bloodline two point oh ones? They dropping? I haven't heard nothing on those, bro. And they were supposed to be dropping in July, so I mean, we should be seeing some official images sometime soon. You know what I'm saying? Sometime soon. If if we don't see anything by like the end of May, beginning of June, I think this whole time that's just been gas and and people. You know what I'm saying? So whoever came up with that mock up, whoever came up with that mock up. Hey, man, it, it made it seem like we were actually getting it, but I honestly haven't heard anything about those. Uh, shout out to Kato Kicks for the $4 donation. Bring back the Cool Gray 11s. Jordan Brand, to me, they dropped the ball this year by not giving us the Cool Gray 11s. If, if we doing this 10-year stuff, Cool Grays dropped 2010, so them definitely should have dropped this year. Shout out to Willie G. Franklin for the $2 donation. Can you show the leather on the SB1s? You talking about the, um, the LA to Chicago joints? I mean, leather on them is cool. Shout out to Soul Vice for the $3 donation. Cool Gray 3s or Cool Gray 11s. I'm going 3s. So the Cool Gray 3s are scheduled to drop next year. I got mine up here. Shout out to everybody who's smashing that thumbs up, man. We got 1.1K thumbs up. Cool Gray 3s is supposed to be dropping next year. And my boy Willie wanted to see these. I mean, it's basic, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say it's good because of you can remove the paint. So why put like a premium leather on a shoe that's meant to be like, I don't know, not necessarily destroyed, but, you know, the, the paint come off of it. So, I mean, it's it's cool, I guess. Nothing spectacular. I say these feel just like your Royal Toes and your Court Purple 2.0s. So to me, nothing really special. Um... Did did you see finish line? Um, did you see the restock finish line? Yeah, finish line restock DMPs last week. I think if anything, finish line is like the only place other than Nike that's really doing stuff for the last dance. Um, they dropped a couple things. I took I didn't even get um what's it like access to whatever was going on. Um Michelle Lennon um said they strapped them sneaker files said okay so I think he's trying to say like they scrapped the um bloodline 2.0 shout out to Ian Quick oh okay you asked about fu uh finish line um shout out to Mike uh Fusco do you think we 13s will ever retro um possibly but I feel like when it comes to like Jordan brand retro and stuff like it's weird. Like, of course, you know, OG colorways, they get retroed. But it's like certain shoes we still have yet to see. Stacks money. What about 80? What about 82s, bro? You keep talking about 82s. I don't know what you're talking about. If you're talking about the win like 82s, I just talked about that in my Jordan 11 video I did the other day. Um. Uh. So I don't know if the Wii 13s, like, re Mike, reason why the Wii 13s is probably not on their radar is because a couple years ago they dropped, like, the Golden Harvest joints. You know what I'm saying? So that's supposed to, like, the Golden Harvest 13 is, like, the equivalent of, like, the FIBA 12s to me. Like, FIBAs is, like, supposed to be, like, a Cherry 12 in a sense, but it ain't it. Shout out to Nick Ye for the $5 donation. Need that 85 Chicago and, and Bread Band Airship. I agree. I agree. That needs to happen too, especially since they gave us these airships, but it's not like an OG colorway. Like the New Beginners pack is like, okay, if the New Beginners pack is a new beginner for Jordan Brand to give us stuff like this, I can dig it, okay? But if you're going to give us stuff like this, man, you got to give us stuff like this in its original colorways, okay? Shout out to Dreadful Kick for the foul out donation. What's good, break? The finish line do a restock tonight around 8 p.m. I couldn't get on the app for like 30 minutes, bro, and we need cool gray 11s ASAP. They dropped like four shoes, bro. I remember seeing the, um, the, red, the red threes, I believe the Obsidian ones, and like two other shoes. I, and, um... That was about it. I don't I don't even remember uh the other two shoes that they had. Shout out to G Money 7813. Are prices going back down on OGs? No. Complete opposite, bro. And I'm gonna do a video about that uh tomorrow. I'm gonna do a video about that tomorrow. Uh G -g 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 -g. what else, man? Shout out to y'all. If y'all just now came into the chat, make sure y'all smash that like button. We have 1,200 people still in here rocking. We got 1.2, uh, excuse me, we got 1.1K uh, thumbs up. So make sure y'all smash that thumbs up. Uh, shout out to Ron Harris for the $2 donation. Rodman, I'm going to Hooters <laughs> to see some TNA. Facts. I did peep that boy. That boy, Dennis Rodman, was a freak, man. He like, boy, y'all going to Hooters to see some tits and ass. I, I peeped that. Uh, shout out to Gilbert uh, for the $2 donation. Should I get the Fire Red Fives or wait for a summer drop? Bro, to me, all OG colorways I must have in the collection. It, it all just depends on the type of person you are, man. Like, I love OG. You know what I'm saying? Anything that Mike wore on the court or anything that dropped in the 90s, in the in, uh, 80s, in the, in the 90s, I need it in the collection, bro. Like I always say, I love the hype stuff. I love my PEs. But none of it compares to the shoe that Mike actually wore on foot. You know what I'm saying? Like, even, like, watching tonight's episode when he had the Chicago ones on foot, but then you still seen the dude lacing up the uh, the um, the Cherry 13s. It's just like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nothing like that, man. Ain't nothing like that. They definitely, okay, so if they going to do some Jordan 7s, they need to give, I don't even know the last OG colorway in a retro 7s we got, man. It's been a minute. Shout out to Jim Wise for the five dollar donation. Will we see military blues uh, with Nike Air? Hopefully, man. We supposed to be getting fire reds for uh, Black Friday, 
Supposed to be getting black uh, fire reds for Black Friday. Uh, Marquise Hodges said, do you own any customs? I don't own any. Cu I do own a pair of customs. Um, my pair of custom Travis Scott Jordan 3s that my boy Daniel Grand did for me. I have a video uh, specifically for that shoe, bro. You can check it out. Um, shout out to Mr. AVG um, in Nude. Something like that. Dude. Um, for the $2 donation, I appreciate you, bro. Bye. June or July for those. Um, Taz Haitian Kane said, I'm laughing at your IG post involving MJ. Bro, when uh Jordan said something, he was like, shit. <laughs> you know, it's just funny, bro, because like 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 I didn't know how Michael Jordan was, you know what I'm saying, off the court. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when when you see people always in a positive light, kind of like myself, man, it's just like you don't see us cursing and you don't see us, you know drinking and doing whatever we do behind closed doors so to see mike behind closed door he is like he's more human than just the superstar mj that we we grew up watching on tv shout out uh, oh man shout out to Stu todd for the two dollar donation uh my man said infrared 32s <laughs> no we straight on those man shout out to justin cabrera for the two dollar donation can you send me out a pair of travis scott's Sure, bro. I got you, bro. I got, I got you, bro. Uh, uh, what else? We need Raptor 7s and Playoff 13s. We definitely need Playoff 13s. We need another Playoff 8, but we need them OG style, though. Um, we even, like, Jordan Brand could have gave us the Bug Bunny 8 since they want to go crazy on the hair 6s and the hair 7s. They could have gave us the Bugs Bunny 8s because, let's be honest, man, when they, when they retro the Air Jordan 8s, to me, they didn't do a great job. You know what I'm saying? Jordan Brand didn't do the best job. Like, my playoff eights are still holding up good. Yeah, I rocked them one time, but my Bugs Bunny eights, I rocked them one time as well. But because of the leather that they used on them, um, because of the leather that they used on them, it was, it, it was like an instant crease. It was that stiff, hard leather that we had on, like, them 20. I got to get all the way down here. That we had on like from 2013, 2014 retro fives. See? Like my Bugs Bunny 8s. Like I rocked these joints. But it was like an instant crease. I mean, we know 8s going to crease regardless. But this leather was just terrible, man. It was like that real stiff leather that they gave us back then. Shout out to um, Velez J's. We need Stealth 8s again and Citrus 7s. I just picked up my Citrus 7s not too long ago. And um, I just sold my Stealth 8s not too long ago. Um, but I did wind up keeping the Black Toes. I did keep my Black Toe 8s. Um, I don't know why I sold my Stealth 8s. That's not a shoe you see every day. I'm probably, out of everything I sold this year, I probably regret that shoe the most. Because it's just one of them ace you don't see on a daily. Plus, a lot of Jordans don't have orange in them either. So, just a, just a rare Jordan, you know, to have. <sighs> Y'all, smash that like button for your boy. Smash that like button for those who just now entered into the vault. Let's get this joint to 1.2K. Thumbs up. Them Suns Ace is underrated. You talking about the 3P joints? I ain't really like them 3P 8s. I wasn't a big fan of those. I wasn't a big fan of those at all. Um, shout out to Ben uh, Ben Sky for the $2 donation. Need the Cherry 13s uh, like air, bro. Cherry 13s is re Bro. Okay. Cherry 13s retro not too long ago, but they sat. Cherry 13s sat, man. Those joints sat. Um, shout out to Justin again, going live and going live and show us your Jordan 4 collection. I was supposed to do that tonight, bro. Um, but I probably, I probably do that sometime during the week. I know y'all want to do round six of UBK knockout. Got to do that next week. Um, so my, my main, my main things for going next week is the knockout. Well, this week is knockout going live for the retro ones and then showing my three and four collection vid. So that's, that's my plan for my lives this week. Oh, <sighs> y'all. Um, shout out to King Me, uh, King Me Seven Y. Uh, we need Jordan Thirteen Great Toes again. Uh, you know the crazy thing about the Great Toe Thirteens? I sold both of them. I sold the original ones, 
They came out like 06 with, you know, the ones that had the issue with the bleeding. And I sold the, the ones that came out like 2014. I sold those not too long ago again. Man, like, honestly, y'all, <clears throat> had I not sold stuff in here, I probably would be at like five, 600 pair of Jordans, man. At least five to 600 pairs. Like, it was just some of that stuff, man. Like, in my college days and, you know, before my daughter was born, I literally bought every retro. Like, I still buy every retro, but I was buying them and just keeping them. You know what I'm saying? Just buying them and keeping them. Um, so, like, I, I sold a lot of stuff, man, from, like, Wool 12s and Wool 3s to all of those. Y'all remember the, um, um, shout out to Brett Tinker for the $2 donation. Um, y'all remember those, the, the, the lab series, the five lab threes, the three lab fives. I had all those. I sold those. Um, uh, Wolf, uh, what was those, man? Like metallic silver threes. I sold those. I sold my all-star Jordan ones. I sold at least a hundred, like it don't even look like I sold over a hundred pairs of shoes, but I've sold over a hundred pairs of shoes in here and I'm still almost at capacity. Still almost at capacity. Peapod eights. Peapod eights was the first Air Jordan I've sold to Hey Fam Measley G. That was the first shoe I sold to him was my Peapod eights. Uh, shout out to Hayes, Hayes Gang P for the two dollar donation. What's the most comfy J's for um, the Big Daddies? Pause on Big Daddies, but I get what you're saying. Um, the most comfortable Jordans to me are sixes, sevens, and thirteens. Those are the most comfortable out of all of them. Uh, Justin um, Fruez said um, Sunset Fives. That was a women's exclusive, but that is a beautiful pair of Jordan Fives. Um, King Melly, <laughs> shout out to King Melly for the two dollar donation. He said it's Melly, but good looking out anyway. Shout out to you though, bro. Appreciate you. Um, Ben Sevens or Miro Sevens? That's a tough one, but I'm gonna go with Miro Sevens. I mean, Miro Sevens is celebrating a dream team that that 1992 uh, Olympic gold medal win. I mean, that shoe was iconic in itself. You know, um, you know another another Jordan that needs to retro, that has never retroed. Um, shout out to, uh, I want to say that's Malika Lawson for the $2 donation. Do you wear phones? I did. I, I had three pair of phones. Phones is just not my style, and I sold them. I, I just knew it wasn't my style. Shout out to Brett Tinker for the $2 donation. Do you think we will get the Lightning Fours back? That's another one. Like, Lightning Fours never retro, man. Burgundy Fives never retro. The Black UNC Fives never retro. Um, Flint 12s never retro, but they gave us the dark gray 12s. Like, that, that made no sense. Flint 9s never retro. Uh, uh, um, Wheat 13s never retro. It's a lot. My number one Air Jordan that has not retro yet is the Air Jordan 6 Midnights. The Midnight Navy 6s. I'm waiting like waiting on those it's to the point now where i know those came out in 2000 but i will grab a pair of those and just do soul swipes like i don't like doing soul swipe on shoes because it's just like that's not the original shoe you get what i'm saying it's like i don't know it's kind of like when people get a rolex and they customize the rolex like it loses value granted you know i'm like maroon maroon six is dead retro um show the burgundy fives uh Somebody said Wolf Gray Fives too. I got Wolf Gray Fives in here somewhere. Um, Burgundy Fives are right here. These are part of the LS series. The Burgundy Fives. Shout out to Justin again. Do you have the Lil Wayne Drake joints? Yes, sir. Those joints are right there. And I do have the Wolf Gray Fives. I just don't know where they at. They normally are right here. And you got the Wolf Gray Fives had it right there. So it's a lot, man. Do you have lasers? I got the Laser Fours. I just sold my Laser Fives. And again, that's probably another shoe. I sold my Laser Fives on accident because I posted them, right? So I posted my Laser Fives for sale. And, um, and I posted them for $300. But I also was doing... Um, pre-orders on the uh, OG fives. So I'm thinking when dude was like, can I get the fives? He was talking about, excuse me, pre-order. So I'm like, yeah, send the bread. So when he sent the bread, he was like for, um, for the laser fives. And I'm like, damn, you know, like I ain't want to be like, nah, bro, I ain't selling them no more. So I sold them to do like, I wasn't going to wear them. You know what I'm saying? So 
it's cool for him to go to a home that's going to actually get some groundwork. But laser fours, I got those. Laser fives, you don't see them on a day-to-day -day basis, so I definitely want to keep them. Shout out to Mr. Wonderbread for the $2 donation. What do you do with old drops when they retro? Good question, bro. Um, it, it all depends. It all depends. Like, for the most part, I will sell an older retro for the newer retro, which in a sense is kind of ass backwards because the older ones are always better for the most part. Like, when the breads from 2016 came out, I sold my breads from 2013. You know what I'm saying? Um, only one that I did not sell as of a recent is my um, DMPs from 06. One, because it goes with the pack, and I'm not splitting up the pack. And two, the gold is different. But like when uh, the Cool Gray 4s, that was another one. I had, the, I had the original Cool Gray 4s. They wasn't wearable. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't wearable at all. So I sold those to get the newer ones. Um, when uh, when the, um, when the nah, actually, like when the Fire Reds restock, I actually might keep the Mars Blackmans that I have down there. Simply because... It's going to be a different shoe. It's, that's going to be a different shoe. But for the most part, like let's say when the He Got Games came out a couple years ago, I sold my 2013 pair because I got the, the 2018 or whatever year that came out. So I normally just sell the older year to get the, get the most recent year. Um, shout out to Malcolm J. Uh, Demons telling me uh, to sell my shy ones for 1200 Only reason you should sell that joint, bro, is if you're in need of it. If you're not in need of it, I wouldn't sell it because one, Chicago Ones is another one of them highly fake shoes. So if you sell it and you try to buy it again, you may get a fake or prices may go up and you sold it for $1,200, but then tomorrow they're going for $1,600. So, eh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Rara in the building. Um, I do have Miss Fours. Those are down there on the floor. The uh, Jordan 4 Mist. Um, shout out to my boy Ash. People slept on the Jordan 14 Redwoods and Cinders. Yes, the 14s need a the 14s need a nice good year too. I know they got them blue 14s that's supposed them hyper royals that's supposed to be dropping like the Rip Hamilton PEs. So them joints definitely need to drop. Um, Tim Johnson said, "Break, what's your favorite Air Jordan 13? OG is the playoffs in general. Probably like the bands. Them bands are on another level. Shout out to um." Uh, Devin or Devon uh, for the $2 donation. Are they bringing back Cool Gray 11s this year? No news of it, bro. The the Y'all know normally when it comes, do you have the uh, Retro 9 Olives? Yep, I got Olives up there. Um, Y'all know when it comes to the Jordan 11s, it's just like we know the Jordan 11 information like months, damn near a year in advance. But it seemed like this year is like real secretive with the Retro 11. Like, we still really don't, we don't have no mock, we have mock-ups, but it's like the 11s is kind of like a mystery this year, man. Maybe we get the cool grades. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure at all. But um, they definitely need to drop this year. Uh, Willie G said, uh, well, thoughts on the black drop fronts? Um, to be honest, the black drop fronts was dope when they first came out because it was something new. But, um... The clear drop fronts are just so much cleaner, man. You know what I'm saying? The clear joints are just so much cleaner. I know a lot of people ask me, why do I have the cases open? Um, I had the cases open because these joints reflect light. You know what I'm saying? You can see my light at the ceiling. You can just see reflections um, when the cases are actually closed. But when they open, you can't see nothing. So, you know, it's just to, to, to kill the reflection that, that the cases, um, you know, reflect off. From light. Um, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. We still rocking strong with 1,200 people in here. And it's like 11 o'clock. Um, hit that like button if you haven't yet. Shit, let's get to 1.3K thumbs up, man, while we in here. Um, shout out to Armando for the uh, $2 donation. Thoughts on the upcoming LeBron 17 uh, graffitis. I'm not going to stunt. Um, I'm straight on those. But those... Um, LeBron 7 Lakers, I might actually go for those just to do a review. I'm going to keep it real. I might actually go for those to uh, do a review. Um, Kahili um, or Kahil Stockley, shout out to you for the uh, dollar donation. Um, Silver Patent Leathers, what are y'all talking about? When y'all be spamming the chat asking the same question, I just don't get it. Pico talking about Silver Patent pat 
What patent leathers? I don't even know what you're talking about. So I'm gonna do one of these. Ugh, get you up out of here. Sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, let's talk about those Mocha ones, cause them low key kind of came out of nowhere. They talking about the Mocha Jordan ones, aka like the poor man Travis Scotts, aka the shoe that I think is actually probably gonna look better than them Travis Scotts. So I'm gonna keep it real. I think them regular Mochas, if it's what we've been seeing. I think that those will be better than the Travis Scott's. And I'm talking about takeaway hype. But I definitely think that Jordan 1 will be better than Travis Scott's. I think that will have some kind of good value. Um, I need the free throw threes break. Um, help your boy. That's another one. Like some, I got my free throw threes right here. Shoes like these, bro. Any like, bro, anything OG. Anything OG, you got to grab it when you can. You know what I'm saying? That shoe is not going to go down in price. That shoe is going to continue to go up. It's unique. It has a theme. And we want It's unique. It has a theme. And on top of that, it's an OG colorway. So that alone right there, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be a seven, dollars $800 shoe. It's, and it's going to happen like while we sleeping, bro. We're going to wake up. Because them came out, what, 2018? we going to wake up and that shoe going to be damn near eight dollars $900. I guarantee you, man. It, it's just unique. It's, it's a unique Air Jordan 3. And it's an OG colorway. And it's somewhat close to the to the sample that they had. With the sample had a um a, a clear a clear um also. So it's close to a sample. It's OG. It got a theme. Jordan wore it. Thousand dollar shoe in the next couple years. Shout out to Kahili Shockley again. Stockley, excuse me. Uh, when won't wait, won't get the clear boxes, but what I'm gonna do with the OGs? I just put my OG boxes in a, in, a, in storage. I don't ever throw away my OG boxes. Um, shout out to uh, Cheap Money Bags for the two dollar donation. Do you think O One Bling Fours will ever retro? O One Bling Fours. You talking about the Chrome Fours? Maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, we got the pair of monies a couple times, so I, I doubt it, bro. Um, shout out again to Justin. Do you have Wahlburger Fours? No, I don't, bro. That's like a $16,000 shoe. And I heard that he may actually come out with another one that may um uh uh be uh um excuse me, I can't even talk. That might be a general release. Um, shout out to Brett Tinker again for the $2 donation. Uh, we need salt buttery leather all 2020 if we paying. I mean, yeah, I agree, man. I agree. Like I always say, man, the, the booty backstroke motion, y'all know I love my booty backstroke motion. But I would take OG any day, man. I want my shoes to be as close to the original as possible, as close to the original. But in order for that, Nike needs to still be actually getting these shoes made in the original factory with the original material. Times has changed. You know what I'm saying? The OG Air Jordan 1, when it first came out, was what, 85, 90 bucks? You know what I'm saying? Jordan brand threw a whole $100 in front of that, and it's not even the same quality. So it's just like times has changed. Things are way more expensive than it was back in the 80s making a pair of Jordan 1. So it's just like, honestly, I feel like if we want the same quality that, that, that we got in the 80s, Jordan 1s would probably be $300 retail. 65 65 so that's even crazier you know what i'm saying that's uh 65 that's that's way crazier than um than 90 so jordan brand smacked us with an extra 105 dollars on the box you know what i'm saying but it is nowhere near the original so like i feel like if we were to if we was to want to get the original original we would probably have to pay three hundred, but I will happily pay three hundred if it's closest if it's closest to what Mike actually wore. Shout out to Grow Up Homie uh, So Cali for the two dollar donation. So yeah, man, I would spend my money. I I wouldn't mind spending three hundred dollars if I knew it was gonna be close to what we got. Uh, what else we got, y'all? We've been rocking almost an hour, man. We had a steady 1,200 people in here. We got that 1,200 thumbs up, man. Y'all have been. You smash that thumbs up. Make sure you smash that thumbs up. It's this button right here. Just hit this button right here, man. Like I always say, it helps the channel out so much more. Um, uh, shout out to, uh, Josh for the five dollar donation. I had two pair of the Dantic, um, Mids, should I hold or sell? 
I say hold on to him, bro, because if he has another phenomenal year, the shoe going to go up. Just kind of like Kawhi, man. You know, Kawhi Leonard, his retro ones was like 400 you know, when they first came out. Now it's damn near a $2,000 shoe. So, and, and it's not a, it's an OG, it's a, it's a, oh, how can I say? It's a Jordan 1 high. It's not an OG high. So, it's still a high top Jordan 1. It's just not OG. It's a mid, but it has potential to get up there. I, I was sleeping on that one, man. You know, I heard a lot of people was like, break, why you ain't get them? Why you ain't get them? First off, I'm not even a Luka fan. Yes, he was Jordan brand, but I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to go crazy. I will have a, um, I will do a review for y'all. I definitely will do a review for y'all, though. One of my homies wind up hitting uh, two pairs off Sneakers app. Shout out to my boy G-Man. He wind up hitting, so um, I'm going uh, I'm to use one of his pairs to do the review for y'all. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. We got 1.3K thumbs up. We're going to rock it out for like another five minutes, man. Wife made some banana pudding, and she on the couch in there looking good. So I got to go in there and take care of that. You feel me? So um, we're going to rock out for like another five minutes, man. So somebody tell me what the donations are for. The donations are for just the love and the support from the Unbreakable Army. Um, shout out to Josh for the $2 donation. Appreciate it, break. Thanks for your advice. No problem, bro. Um, the bling fours are not the chrome fours. I well send me a picture on IG because I don't even know what the bling fours are. Maybe it got a completely different um, maybe it got a completely different um name. But somebody said break Cosby. <laughs> hey, I, oh yeah, because I did say banana pudding. <laughs> Boy, y'all funny man. Y'all is funny. Uh, Toro Fours. I got them joints up there. I can't wait to see them. Um, them all red fourteens. Them joints is gonna be nice, man. Them joints is gonna be nice. Them uh, navy blue Japan ones. I know we getting the silver joints, but I don't know if we gonna get the navy. If we getting, if we getting the silver joints, nine out of ten, we may get the navy joints. And I know them joints came out. Uh, uh, when them came out like oh one. I feel like um, I feel like Jordan brand like. Eventually, Jordan Brand is probably gonna start retro in the retro boxes. You get what I'm saying? So in 01, when the Japan and the Navy joints came out, it had the Jordan face boxes. You know, he, his face with the lines, the silver box. It would be dope if we actually got those with that box. Or did those come out in a suitcase? I'm not 100% sure, but still, they need to start retro in the old boxes. Just give you more of that nostalgia, man. Um, shout out to uh Pooby D. Uh, what about them V8 nines? <laughs> y'all crazy, man. Y'all won't let that man live, bro. Y'all won't let that man live. That was funny. I thought you was talking about a real shoe, bro. I thought you were trying to say them DB8s. Uh, you know what I'm saying? DB8s or something. This man said V8 nines. Um, Black Friday release will be the Fire Red 4s. Y'all make sure y'all smash that like button. Um, again, y'all, smash that like button before y'all get up out of here, man. We still got a thousand people up in here rocking strong, y'all. Again, I'm going to be, uh, I say hold on to all dunks. I see a couple people got some dunk questions. I know Hey Fam Easy G said hold on to dunks, and that man knows his dunks and things like that, so I will listen. Shout out to my boy Richard, uh, for the $2 donation. We need retro cars again. I don't know why they stopped giving us retro cars. Like when, in 2015, when a, when a, um, Aquas dropped, we got retro cars on. We got retro cars for, on all the eights that dropped that year. And I don't know why they just randomly just stopped, you know, giving us, um, retro cars in there. But I agree, man. But I feel like once you get retro cars and retro boxes, man, then prices gonna go up $5 here, $10 here. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the the retro that really cre creeped up on prices, man, was the Retro 11. That Retro 11 was from, like, I remember when it was 170. Then the next year it was, like, 185. And then it went up to 200. And now it's 220. So it's like the more we ask for, the more we're going to have to pay. And that's just real talk. The more you ask for, the more you're going to have to pay. Okay, so before we head up out of here, man, Army, I love y'all, appreciate y'all. Shout out to y'all for the donations tonight. Shout out to y'all for hitting the like button, man. Do y'all got any last questions? Anybody want to anybody want to donate anything last before we get up out of here? Um, y'all go ahead and I'm going to give y'all one more minute to do y'all before we head up out of here, and then your boy better go up in there and take care of some business, you feel me? 
Um, so again, shout out to everybody who've been rocking with your boy, man. Um, I got some good content coming up for y'all this week. I was supposed to have them top five, excuse me, top three Jordan fives. I'm still waiting to get some uh, information on those. I did open up pre-orders for Flint, so if you froggy and want to jump on the pre-order, uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. Just hit me up. Um, shout out to my boy Grow Up Homie uh, SoCal for the two dollar donation. Shout out to Robert Patterson. Why everybody capping acting like them top five, uh, top three fives are so dope? They trash. I'm a cop, but trash should have been white. So how you gonna say they trash, but you still go cop? They, bro, it's a fire shoe. Only thing that makes that shoe not as attractive is because they put that grape five tongue on there. That shoe should have just been a mix between the metallics and the um the black tongues because we got the grapes with Nike Air on it a couple years ago. And shout out to my and and, and I don't even really put respect on my pair like I should. Um, shout out to um. Shout out to Chris Walters for the two dollar donation. Um, RD Zoom One supposed to be some new remaster stuff. Chris, I don't even know. I don't even know what that is, bro. Shoot me a, a DM on IG. Shout out to Quentin Tucker. What when is Sneaker KO round six? Either tomorrow or Tuesday. I normally been running it on Tuesday, so I might keep it on Tuesday. But look, y'all remember my girl Kicks by Esco? She customized my pair. This is the original pair um, that came out, but y'all remember it had the holes in it. So, you know, she put the laces in there. I took the lock, um, lace locks from my 2013 pair. So, I need to put some respect on this pair. This pair is, is dope, man, because, I mean, it's it's an OG Nike Air. The only one, only OG Jordan 5 I don't have with Nike Air on it is the Black Tongue. So, that's why I was I was very adequate um, to get in those sometime this year, man, because these joints is fire, and I don't really put respect on them like I should, man, and my girl Kicks by Esco did a phenomenal job on these, but she no longer does sneaker customizing, so a lot of people been asking where she at. She don't mess with sneakers no more, y'all, so, I mean, I probably can hit her up for, like, a special project or some of that nature, but as far as just, like, because she did a couple of these for people, man. Uh, shout out to, uh, Chris Walters again, the Jordan ones with the Zoom Air. Oh, I don't, I don't necessarily think that that's supposed to be like a remaster thing. It's just some Jordan brand trying, but I don't think it's really going right. Yes, those are the Fresh Prince fives that dropped uh, two years ago, but she customized them joints for me. Any last joints for your boy, man? We rocked and rolled for an hour. We got 1.3K thumbs up. You guys did phenomenal. Army, I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Any last questions? Royal Blue Threes. Never heard of those. Um, do you think Last Shot 14s will restock on sneakers during the next episode? I could be. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't want to say I'm not opposed because I'm not doing it, but I'm, I wouldn't be surprised that they did a couple restocks. It may not be a shock drop, but then we may get some get a couple restocks here and there, man. Um and that's it, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. Army, love y'all. See y'all tomorrow. Again, I will be dropping a video regarding these price uh, spikes and them OG colorways that I mentioned. Um, no, I'm not cutting my beard, so y'all will be seeing this beard. Hell, y'all might even see me in this shirt again tomorrow. We ain't acting like we brand new over here. Break with Army, love y'all. Stay strong. Hug your loved ones. Catch y'all tomorrow.